Tax Refund 2021. Welcome back everyone so happy to have you back in today's video we are tracking the timeline and data of how the irs got to the extreme tax refund processing delay in 2021 if you are a numbers person and you want to review the data of how the irs got to where we are right now this video is for you but before we begin make sure to check out the income tax refund playlist pinned in the comment section as well as in the description box for all of your refund updates and tutorials how to unenroll from receiving the advanced child tax credit payments that is a full tutorial as well as how to order a transcript online how to verify your identity and all of the approval dates shared in the comment section those videos are in one playlist for you to check them out out now for today's video we are starting with important dates impacting the 2021 filing season december 27 2020 was the enactment of consolidated appropriations act of 2021 december 29 2020 the irs began sending the second round of stimulus payments february 12 2021 is when the the filing season began March 11 is the enactment of the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 and March 12 is when the IRS began sending the third round of stimulus payments March 17 is when the Treasury and the IRS announced that they were going to postpone the tax deadline to May 17 and May 17 was the post uh, data tax filing deadline all right next we have the filing season performance data it says that of the about 148 million individual returns that the irs received in 2021 filing season it says 94 percent were filed electronically figure two down here below represents an overview of returns process and refunds issued during the past four filing seasons so you can review the data here from 2018 to 2021 and review the increase uh, in individual tax returns file e-file total refunds direct deposits as well as web usage at the bottom which is visits to the irs website now you have here more comparison data uh 2020 to 2021 and you have the description individual business and total and you have the comparison of the percentage increase at the end all right and you can review paper returns awaiting process the first chart at the top is 2020 the one in the bottom is 2021 also you have the numbers for the error resolution cases the uh, processing rejected cases the unpostable returns identity theft cases and you have the total all right now we are moving on to the where is my refund tool it says with the delays millions of taxpayers turn to the irs where is my refund tool as well as well as the irs to go app it says to check the status of their refunds and this is the breakdown of that data you can see the increase the uh, uh orange uh increase check mark there 82 percent increase increase in the usage from 2018 to 2021 and as we know that was due to the filing season it says here at the top that now that the filing season has closed the good news is that the stream of new returns entering the uh, processing pipeline will slow dramatically all right it says that at least uh until the irs approach the extended filing deadline of october 15 they expect 
things to start slowing down, which means more refunds will start to get approved. Now we are also going to look at the data for the IRS telephone service. All right. You have the comparison data from 2018 to 2021 uh, calls received, calls answered, as well as from account management lines from the 1040 line and the uh, consolidated automated uh, automated collection line system. You have all of that data there. So if you are a numbers person and want to see exactly what the IRS was dealing with this season compared to previous season, go ahead and review this data in detail. Next, we have the um, economic impact payment identity theft. It says that every uh, every filing season, thousands of taxpayers are subject to identity theft. This filing season, with the addition of the uh, stimulus check, the number of taxpayers who have filed an identity theft claim with the IRS by submitting form uh, 14039, identity theft affidavit, has increased significantly. And you can see that data here. You have the beginning inventory receipts, uh, closures, and ending inventory. So there have been an increase of people filing identity theft cases starting with the uh, stimulus checks this year. Also, we have here, it says, other filing season challenges. It says, add an insult to injury, taxpayers and the IRS face additional obstacles during the 2021 filing season, including identity verification, backlog in processing authorizations, lack of working printers and copiers, closure of the Federal Records Center, limited in-person taxpayer interaction with the IRS. It says identity verification. It says the IRS passes all tax returns claiming refunds through a variety of fi uh, filters and rules to flag returns that appear uh, to likely have been filed by identity thieves. All right. It says returns selected by these filters are suspended from processing and worked in the taxpayer protection program, which is the TPP. It says taxpayers are notified uh, to authenticate their identity by contacting the toll free number, all right? Going online or visiting the taxpayer assistance center. So you can also verify your identity in person. Check out the video tips to schedule an in-person appointment so you can if you are unable to do it online yourself because you don't have all the documents that you need you can do it in person you can schedule an uh, in-person appointment to verify your identity uh, in person all right it says as of May 20th, 2021, the uh, TPP had selected over 3.7 million suspicious tax returns this filing season. It says nearly triple. It's triple the 1.3 million returns selected during 2019 filing season. So a lot of your tax returns are waiting for identity verification. That's why I encourage you to call the IRS to see if that is what your return is waiting for. And you can possibly do that over the phone or if you're unable to do it online yourself, you can schedule an uh, in-person appointment to verify your identity so your tax return can be processed. And there is the breakdown here uh, of the uh, identity verification cases. It says the selections, uh, the ones that were authenticated and the ones that were actually confirmed to be identity theft. And as you can see, the number confirmed 
is pretty low so the majority of the cases are really waiting for you guys to verify your identity you were put in that uh, department by the system the system filtered you uh, as needing authentication and that is probably the only thing you're waiting on for your tax refund to be completed because the majority of the cases were not actually confirmed to be identity theft cases all right and that is the end of this video all right so make sure you review this information in detail check out the income tax refund playlist as well as come back for more updates stimulus updates and motivational monday videos like comment share subscribe and i will see everyone again very very soon Bye bye